Hi, let us now study the direct control of double acting cylinder. This is our double acting cylinder. It has two ports. Okay, this is for the negative chamber and this is for the positive chamber. Okay, then we have here the 5 over 2 way bulb spring returned push button actuated. There is no notch. So this push button has no lock. Okay, so it has. It is a 5 over 2 way bulb. Why 5 over 2 way bulb? It has two square. Two squares represents two positions. Okay? What is 5 in 5 over 2? It has five ports. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 3 and 5 are exhaust ports, while 2 and 4 are output ports. And Number one is the input port. Okay, so this is a 5 over 2 way bulb, push button actuated, spring return. Then this is your FRL unit. What is FRL unit? It is the filter, regulator, and lubricator. And then we have the compressor, the air supply. Okay, so let us now connect. The compressor to the FRL unit and then to the 5 over 2 way bulb and to our double acting cylinder. Okay. Now we have the connection from the compressor and then to the FRL unit and then to the input of the 5 over 2 way bulb and then to the output and then to the negative chamber and to the positive chamber of the double acting cylinder. Okay. So, double acting cylinder has no spring, okay? And it has two ports. That is the difference between the single acting cylinder and the double acting cylinder, okay? So, initially, the air from the compressor is injected to the FRL and then the output is injected to the input, the port 1 of the 5 over 2 way bulb. And then, the air flows in here. The arrow shows the direction of airflow, okay? So the air is in the negative chamber of the double acting cylinder. Initially, the piston rod of the double acting cylinder is in backward position. Okay, this is filled with compressed air, the negative chamber. That is the initial position. The piston rod is in backward position. Now, if you are going to actuate this push button, this is a push button with no notch. Therefore, it doesn't lock, okay? If you push this and hold it, then the spring will be compressed. And this square will switch over in here, okay? So, let us move this, okay? It switch over. So, the, the air now is passing from 1 to 2 to the positive chamber of the double acting cylinder. What will happen? The cylinder will move forward. Why? The accumulated air in the negative chamber will simply exhaust here at 5. This is an exhaust port. So the air at the negative chamber will simply exhaust at 5 and the air from 1 will go here and then to the positive chamber of the double acting cylinder causing this piston rod to move forward. Okay? So in this position the spring is compressed and the input now at 1, the air is flowing from 1 to port 2 and then to the positive chamber of the double acting cylinder. It is now filled with compressed air and the piston rod is extended forward. Okay, so if we're going to release the button, then it will return to its original position. It will switch over again to this position. Okay, port 1 now is injected to port 4 and then to the negative chamber causing this piston rod to move backward. Okay, so this will move backward. Why? Because this time the air at the positive chamber will simply exhaust at port 3. Okay, and the air from 1 will pass through this to port 4 and then to the negative chamber of the double acting cylinder so meaning if you're going to push this the cylinder will move forward if you're going to release this 
then the piston rod will move backward. That is the direct control of double acting cylinder. I hope you got it. Please share and subscribe.